Hello, hello, hello. I am going to show you how, once again, I'm going to pour my kombucha, which has been, now has fermented fruit. This is the second phase of my kombucha. So once it already smelled like kombucha, I removed most of the scoby pieces remained in here. And so continue to ferment this time with the fruit. And I know I've showed this to you before, but I am so proud every time I make my new, new batch. So this is actually really finalized, but I'm just going to keep it in here and continue to refill it to here as I go along. So I'm just going to put my pump in here and I'm just going to... Boom. I just love it. Don't you love it? It's not hard, guys. It's not hard. Okay. And I just basically put this over here and I had a towel over it so it could continue to ferment. Just so you know. And here we go. Boom. That easy. That easy. Now, I don't ferment on this. I ferment on a, on a glass. I, I, I'm using a vase. But for the second fermentation, I, I, do, I did have an extra glass, but it's less, you know, because uh, part of it was continuing to ferment, and then part of it I used here for the strawberries. So I split it up a little bit, and this is food grade, a food grade bucket. Uh, I don't see any difference. It's just, as far as I'm concerned, I consider it safe. So I just have to follow along, make sure it's filled right here. It's coming up. You see the bubbles. You're going to see the bubbles any minute. And yes, I am reusing this bottle. This is my own uh, fermented kombucha. As you can see, it's coming up. You see that? And now I got to stop it any minute, any second. And you can make your own kombucha at home instead of spending so much money. Boom. Stop. There you go. There's my kombucha. And so it is strawberry flavored, which is why you see sort of like a reddish color to it. And now I'm just going to remove this. As you can see, there's still ferment in this uh, plastic thing. So I'm actually going to pour this into my bottle. Let me put it down while I get my bottle. I actually like to use my specialty bottle, which is kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take this out. And so instead of putting it in just a, a drinking glass, I kind of like pouring it over here. Wow, what's all this water coming from? I just let my floor tremendously. Turn it this way, because I'm doing everything with one hand. And so I'm just going to pour, I'm not going to waste a dime. I'm not going to waste a thing on this, okay? Oh, hello, Felice. I'm just going to continue to pour it into my glass. I don't waste a bit of it. I do not waste a bit of it. And so, now I'm just going to pour some of my strawberry delicious kombucha with freshly for fermented strawberries in it into my drinking glass, which I like to have a lid on it because sometimes I forget about it. And I like a lid on it at all times for that reason. So now I'm going to put away my kombucha. I'm going to store it in a cool place. During the winter, I actually have a walk-in refrigerator because I have uh, a room I don't really use. I don't want to bother heating it up because it's a waste of energy. And while I'm at it, I could actually put some stuff there that needs refrigeration and I don't have to worry about my refrigerator being too small. Voila! Sometimes we have to be creative. We're coming into a day of age that we may not even have electricity. So it's time to get it done. Thank you for joining me and my fabulous making of my kombucha. See you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye now.